Hi, this is Tony. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to configure your site to work within our new product called Cloud Proxy. Cloud Proxy is a web application firewall designed to provide a preventive layer between your users and your site itself, protecting you things from uh, software vulnerabilities, software vulnerabilities being cross-site scripting, remote file inclusion, local file inclusion type attacks. So let's get into that. When logged in, you're going to greet it with your normal dashboard. On the top left, top left hand side, you'll see your option for TriWeb Cloud Proxy. When you click it, you'll be presented with an option to pay. In my instance, I've already paid and so it's configured. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to want to add my website. So let's do that. Simply go to your browser, open up a tab, copy the domain, come back to your security dashboard, go to your website, paste the domain, and add the site. Upon adding, you're going to want to give it a minute. You can see up here to the top left hand side, it's spinning. You're going to want to let it set. So let's wait for it to set. Once it's ready, it'll give you action so you can take afterwards. This may take a minute, so please be patient. What it's doing is it's going out, it's identifying your domain, identifying the IP that it sits on and bringing it back. And here we go. This is what it's going to look like when it's complete. As you can see, it says not activated. It will not be active until you have modified your A record. And your A record is what's pointing to the server in which your website is living. So let's do that. Uncollapse the panel. You can see the instructions. What you really want to know is this IP here. Configure your DNS to point to our Cloud Proxy IP by adding A records with www and without to 198.74.50.203. So let's go ahead and highlight that. I can command C it or right click and copy it. Now I'm going to go to my DNS manager. For me, in this instance, it's on GoDaddy. So go to your, open another tab, open up GoDaddy and log in. Here you can see I've already logged in. So I'm going to click on my account. Once here, you're going to navigate down to your domains. You're going to hit launch. You're going to click on your site, protectingmysite.com is my site. And then in this panel, you're going to navigate to where it says DNS Manager. Here it is. You're going to launch this. You're going to look for this A record selection, the at host, and this is the IP. This IP is the actual server on which my site lives. What you want to do is you want to modify this. First, if you're like me, you're going to want to enable JavaScript for this domain. Go ahead and refresh. Then you're going to want to modify this A record. And you're going to want to point it to the IP that we just copied. So this 198.74.50.203 is my proxy server. When all the connections come in, they will hit this server first. It will clean out all the incoming requests and push it back to the server. Uh, to the appropriate server, which is the previous server I had configured. Go ahead and save your zone file. Hit OK. You'll see it takes about 48 hours, but it'll happen a lot faster than that, usually within an hour. Click OK. Go back to your account on our security dashboard. And give it a minute. While we're waiting for that, let me walk you through some of the options you have. Here you have high and paranoid. In the high configuration, you're usually allowed to do most of the things that you would expect to do. Log in, do post requests, things like that. If in the event of an incident, you go into paranoid mode. A paranoid mode is going to block all post requests. You essentially will not be able to do anything on your server. Um, this will disable comments, this will be able to log in functionality, anything. You also have a very unique feature here in the ability to lock down your administrator panel. The beautiful part about this is, for instance, let's consider WordPress. Assume that I came to WordPress from a coffee house or a public Wi-Fi or something along those lines. I would not be able to access my WPM because I have not whitelisted my IP. Now, you can open it to the world, but this would leave you susceptible to things like brute force attempts or login attempts. By doing this, you now are able to restrict it by a specific IP. Now, assume you have a dynamic IP versus a static IP and your router at home is continuously changing your IP. You simply add a new IP here by adding a space, add it to the end, 
and it'll automatically give you access to WP Admin. Now things like uh, brute force attempts or uh, hiding your WP Admin, things like that, are no longer a worry. Another option is comments and pinbacks. By default, we have it restricted, and this means that nobody will be able to leave a comment on your blog, but that's only if they're using comments built into WordPress. If you leverage something like Discus or Love Comments or some other third-party comment manager, you'll still be able to accept comments, and that's actually our recommendation. So let's see if it's configured yet. Let's go ahead and refresh. Uh, and you can see that it is protecting my website. It'll be grayed out until traffic starts coming in. Once traffic starts to come through this proxy, you'll be able to see all the activity going on. You'll also be able to click here to see additional logging. For now, as it's brand new, this is what you're expected to see. Give it some time, come back in a day, come back in a week, and you should see a tremendous amount of traffic being blocked as well as all the traffic coming to your site. Once again, thank you very much for trying us out and please make sure to configure your cloud proxy to ensure that you have a preventive measure in place. Thank you very much. Take care.